Jennifer and welcome back to Busy Being Jen. I'm here today with another Stitch Fix unboxing. I'm very excited about this. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, I've been having a really good experience with Stitch Fix. I know that a lot of people say that their boxes are kind of hit and miss on the things they like and the things they don't. Um, I think that the reason why my last three boxes have been really good and in line with my style is because the Pinterest board that I link for the stylist to look at um, has a really specific style. I call it Bohemian Cowgirl. I like it to be kind of a mix of a little bit Western and a little bit kind of flowy and all of that. So um, I also have some really specific requests, nothing that's up, up around my neck, um, nothing that is like bare arms, uh, Things that are that give me the you know kind of a fitted look, but not too tight. I'm, I'm 53 years old, so you know the older you get, the more you get these little rolls around your midsection that you don't want to show. Um, anyway, but the other thing is that my Pinterest board doesn't have a ton of stuff on it. I probably have a total of maybe 20 pictures on there of things. So I'm not just pinning everything I like. I'm just pinning things that are very specific to that style. And, so, and also the other thing that I've been really fortunate with is that I've had the same stylist every time. I don't know if, I know that for some people that's not the case, but when I write my note, you're allowed to put a note about something they should keep in mind for your next box, or maybe there's something specific that you want in your next box. I always address this one stylist by name. Her name is Lindsay, and I always say, Lindsay, da, da 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 So I think that if somebody else gets assigned to me and then they see that I'm talking to Lindsay, they might let her know that I specifically want her. Okay, so for this particular box, I only specified one thing that I really wanted. Now, in my last box, I had asked for, she had given me a couple of pairs of, one was a uh, the thin, whatever they are called, uh, corduroy, and then another that was just jeans um, that were boot cut, which I love, and they were long, so I can wear them with my three inch heel boots. So before my last box, I asked her if she could give me some great fitting jeans like I had in those two pairs of pants, but that were shorter so I could wear them with like a lower heel. She didn't send me that, but she acknowledged my request and said, that they really just didn't have anything other than really long ones, at, at least at the moment. And so she sent me some skinny jeans, which I was like, I don't know. Um, I am gonna give the skinny jeans a try uh, after I lose a little bit more weight. But um, anyway, so um, the only thing that I requested in this box was a dress for an upcoming wedding that's going to be on the beach. And so the dresses I have just aren't, um, I have one that I could wear on the beach, but it's not really dressy enough for a wedding. And my other ones are just, you know, just more formal than a beach wedding. And so, so I don't know if she's going to have something, you know, I, I imagine she might say we really didn't have anything like that, but um, I'm hoping that that will, that there will be a dress like that in here. Um, just to, just to let you know, um, before I go any further, if you've never um, signed up for Stitch Fix. I'm going to put my referral link in the space below. So anyway, you can check out by, by looking in the space below and clicking on that link. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so this is the bag that you send anything that you don't like back in. Or, um, like in my last box, I had, um, oh, you guys remember this, I had a hole in one of the shirts. There was a small hole. So I sent it back and they sent me another one. No questions asked. The necklace, the necklace um, had a double chain and one of the chains broke. Um, I can still wear the necklace, but I just said, can I send it back? I mean, it, and they, they said that they didn't have any more. So I had put a, a little note when they kind of asked for your overall comments about your box and I said, you know, it kind of stinks that I have to hang on to a necklace that's broken um, so I can get my overall discount. Because if you, if you buy a couple of the things in your box, there will be a, a particular price for those items. 
But if you buy all five things in the box, you get a 25% discount on everything. So I thought, it kind of stinks that I have to keep a broken necklace just to get my 25% discount on everything. They commented back and said, we're gonna reimburse your, your account for the cost of that necklace. And so they didn't, um, it, it wasn't like they reimbursed me the cost of the necklace minus the 25% off. No, they just gave me, they just reimbursed my credit card for the whole price of the necklace. So I thought that was really great. So, so they are listening. So if you make specific comments, they do pay attention. Okay, so there's that. Then in this little, uh, this little envelope here, they give you this. I'm not gonna look at it right now because I want these things to be a surprise. This is the list of products and how much they cost. And then this right here is um, a thing that shows you each of these little cards has one of the items that's in the box and then some suggestions for ways to wear it. So I'm also not gonna look at this right now. And there's also a note here from the stylist and my stylist once again is Lindsay. So yay, yay Lindsay. Uh, okay, so let me go ahead. Here is the package. I, just, I always get so nervous. So, okay, so let's see what we have here. Ooh. Okay, something kind of lacy. What is it? Oh, it's like a little um, shirt that you throw over another shirt. Oh, I hope this fits me. I mean, I, I mean mostly my arms. Um, okay, I gotta, I gotta see what this says. Okay, so this is by Pixley, P-I-X-L-E-Y, and it's called an Ashton crochet lace kimono $48 is the retail price on this and it looks like it's about a little like a little longer than waist length and um, I just want to put it on right now but I'm going to do a show and tell here in a minute so I will wait um, but I'm, I'm excited about this I'm hoping this is going to look great okay the next thing I got is oh okay all right I got it I got it um, so this is just a little um, kind of sheer white shirt. It's longer in the, that's the back. It's longer in the back than the front. It's got longer sleeves and really simple kind of a thing. Let's see what it's called. Okay, so this one is by Alice Blue and it's the Canfield Cold Shoulder Blouse. Oh, no, is it? Is this? No? Huh. Well, cold shoulder blouse. I don't know why it's called that because it doesn't seem to show shoulders, but maybe I'm mixing them up. Anyway, this one retails for $38. The next thing is, ooh, bright color here. Now that looks like the cold shoulder blouse. This is the cold shoulder blouse. So can, can you see this? And then it's got little straps that come up here. I was just looking at somebody. I went to a little potluck with our in our neighborhood um, last night, and there was a girl who was wearing a, a shirt that showed her, showed her shoulders, and I was thinking, I wish I had something like that. Okay, so this one is the Alice Blue Canfield Cold Shoulder Blouse. What is that other one? Oh, okay, so it's called the, um, all right, this white one right here is by Laju, L-A-J-U. Anna cross front top. Well, I didn't really see how it was a cross front, but um, we'll try that one on. Okay, so the white one, the cross front top is $58, and this one is $38. So that would be interesting. Fun to try. It's so bright, and I don't have anything in that color. Okay, the next thing. Ooh, okay, so here's the dress. I don't know if I'm going to like it. <laughs> Maybe that's why she gave me the lacy thing, because it definitely has no sleeves. Um, so this kind of flowery, it's definitely a long, flowy dress. I asked her for a longish, flowy dress. Um, I really hope I like it on. Um, let's see, this is the... It's by Fate, and it's a ruby maxi dress. Yeah. Retails for uh, 
$78, yeah. And they say it's in dark green. That doesn't look like dark green, it looks like. Okay, but who cares? As long as I like it, that's what matters. And then the last thing is a maxi skirt. Right here, it's pretty. Yeah, anyway, so um, I'll show you that in a second. And that one is by Par Paradigma. And it's an Audra button front maxi skirt, retails for $68. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try these on, and I will show you when I model these in my bedroom. Then I will come back and I'll tell you about which ones I think I'm keeping and which ones I think I'm going to send back. I'll also tell you about what the total price is going to be, including the discount. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to start with this uh, cold shoulder shirt, and um, I like it. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a strapless bra. I've got the straps hanging down here. It's but, uh, definitely loose. It's um, it's not going to show any rolls. It has, I mean, I'm holding my arm up here, but it has a little bit of a hint of a waistline. Um, definitely something that I have nothing like in my closet, and I think it's a keeper. Okay, now this shirt, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it all because I can't even put my hand down here because this thing is open down to below my bra then there's a stitch where it's stitched together this part is kind of across even when I tie it um, my entire cleavage shows including my bra I don't know I mean it doesn't even show it being worn with a cami and it's also kind of like bunchy down here so in the front so I don't like this I don't like this one at all um, and seriously, it's literally open down to here. So um, even if I wore it with a cami underneath it, I just think the way it falls here, you know, I want to show that I have a waistline and this is not going to do the trick. So Okay, so I tried this shirt again and I'm thinking maybe I had it on backwards. The weird thing though is that, you know, there's a tag right here in front which is why I was thinking that this is the back. Um, it does make the back uh, it does make the back shorter than the front, but it seems to make more sense to have an opening like that. Um, this, I think this is just kind of plain, but if it means that every, I, I'm getting everything else in the box and keeping this is going to make everything else less expensive, then I might, um, go ahead and keep this. But yeah, otherwise the other way, I, I don't, I don't get, I don't get that. Okay, so here is the maxi dress. Um, I don't like showing my arms, and so uh, I did read her note, which I will read to you in a minute, and she, she said that she had a hard time finding a dress that fit into my the style I say I like, which is Bohemian Cowgirl. Look there, I've got my pants thrown on the floor. Um, so she, um, she picked this one out, and then she put this in on purpose because she knows that I don't like to show my full arms, and so... Um, anyway, I just showed my husband. He said he likes it. Um, I'm kind of thinking I might send this back and ask for a medium since I'm losing some weight. And um, I think that I could probably go a little smaller on this one. It's super, super long, which is fine. Um, and then um, also with that off-the-shoulder shirt, it's a large, and I think I'm going to ask for a medium on that if they have it. So, um, so anyway, let me know what you guys think about this dress. And also, it's got a like a lined thing to right here, but then you can you see my my legs through here. Um, I don't know. Am I supposed to show my legs through the skirt? Remember, I'm a fashion bozo, so I don't know. Um, or do I wear a slip or something underneath? I, I, I have no idea. So you guys can let me know. Look at my cat. My cat certainly loves the dress. Okay, the last thing to show you is this skirt, and I put this shirt back on because when I read Lindsay's note. I realized that it was her intention that I pair this top with this skirt. And um, she put this in because she was uncertain about what I would want to wear to the wedding. So she was giving this to me as another option. I actually like this. It is really flowy and it doesn't, it's not giving me a whole lot of shape, but um, I showed my husband, he said he likes it. I'm kind of thinking I might do this for the rehearsal dinner and then the other dress for the wedding. Um, 
here's the deal. I've been losing weight and I in the past have asked for larges on everything. I'm going to send this back. I'm going to ask if they have it available. I'm going to get it in a medium. I'm going to get the skirt in a medium, the dress in a medium, and maybe even I'm going to try on that lacy thing again and kind of see what I think of that and go for a medium in that. But that other white shirt, I just don't get that shirt. Okay, so let's review. And just so you know that after I showed you all of those um, items, I went on to the Stitch Fix site and I went ahead and checked out so that I could let you know how the experience went in terms of exchanging items. Um, so, but before I do that, let me um, read to you the note that Lindsay wrote me. And it's so personalized, seriously, you guys. I don't know if it's, if I'm getting the same stylist because I keep mentioning her, um, or I don't know, maybe she likes my style and wants to, <laughs> wants to style me, or maybe it's just been the luck of the draw that I've gotten her for all four boxes that I've received. But uh, let me go ahead and read this to you. It says, um, hi Jennifer, I'm thrilled you loved your last box and I'm finding, and that I'm finding you pieces that you love, but I'm sorry for the damaged items last time. I'm glad it got resolved for you. I have to admit that I struggled to find the perfect flowy dress options that fell into your boho cowgirl style. So I hope I haven't disappointed you. The fate maxi dress, doesn't have sleeves, but I thought you would love the way it draped softly and the airy feel. I included the crochet lace kimono, the crochet lace kimono from Pixley for a light layer option that could give you more coverage. So she was listening to the fact that I don't like to um, have my arms show, and so she included something that would let me cover my arms. And she was exactly right that I would not want to be sleeveless. Um, okay. Stop it, my cat is playing with the paper from this. Um, okay, as another option, I also included the, is it Paradigma or Paradigma? I don't know. Um, anyway, that maxi skirt in a darker color palette with the same feminine flow. Try it with the Alice Blue cold shoulder top, and so I showed you that. <clears throat> give, it a, um, give it a try. If you hate it, you can always pair the white Lejeune blouse with the skirt and that's the one that's completely open. Seriously, like top to bottom of my cleavage, completely exposed. I was telling my husband with each outfit, each top I tried on, each piece I tried on, I would show him and um, he'd be like, yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect for the rehearsal dinner. Yeah, that'll look good for the wedding. And then um, I was saying something about this top and he goes, how come you didn't show me that shirt? And I said, because it's ridiculous. And he said, and he said, oh, come on, show me. So I was like, okay. So I go and I put this thing on and it's like, you know, showing everything. And he goes, yeah, that's not gonna work for you. And I said, I don't know, am I supposed to wear it the other way? Um, you know, I, I showed you that I turned it around backwards and I since then looked up cross fit, cross, cross, not cross fit, crossover tops. And people are actually showing that much of their chest, but everyone I saw didn't have boobs the size of mine either. So, um, yeah, I, I honestly think that since I have to keep it, I'm either gonna need, well, I'll probably try to sell it at a garage sale. If it doesn't sell at a garage sale, um, <clears throat> then uh, I'll probably try to snip that tag out because it really didn't look backwards when it was on that way. And if I wore that and then like wore it to work with a jacket kind of a thing over it, it might work. I don't know, my nuts? I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, okay. So here's what it turned out to be. Oh, and I also wanted to try to exchange for sizes with not a lot of luck. So the maxi dress, I thought I would exchange that from a large to a medium. They were out of stock, so I'm keeping that as a large. Um, the lace top, I'm keeping that same size because I think if I got it smaller, it would then be too small around my shoulders. Okay, that cross front top I have to keep because otherwise I'll tell you what the price difference is. Um, the cold shoulder, that brightly colored shirt, um, that one uh, I, I tried to exchange for a medium, it's a large, and they said that they were out of stock. And then the floral skirt, the dark, you know, the black skirt with the flowers on it, um, I did, I was able to exchange that one for a medium. I'm losing weight and I figured, you know, over the long haul that I'll be able to wear those better if if they're smaller. So what I'm gonna do even after this video is go back onto the Stitch Fix website 
and redo my survey to change my sizes. I'm not going to get a box for several months just because I got two in November, one in February, one in March. They're always over $200. And that's probably good for now. And so, especially in the summertime when I don't go to work, I mean, I work from home in the summer and I'm just wearing flip flops and capris and t-shirts and stuff like that. I don't, I don't need to have, um, I, don't, I just don't need, you know, to have that kind of stuff, that expense of clothing for summer clothes. I might pick up a box in August when I'm getting ready to go back to work and ask for some items that are for, you know, warmer climates and stuff like that. But for now, this is gonna be, this will be it for a little while. Okay, so let me tell you how this turned out. If you add up the price of everything that was in the box, it comes to $290. Then, because I'm keeping all five items, there's a, there's a discount of $72.50, and because you always pay a $20 styling fee, and they bill that to you, right away, um, you get, they deduct the styling fee for anything you buy. So even if I just bought one shirt, they would take $20 off of that one shirt because that encompasses the styling fee. The whole idea is that you can't just have them send you a bunch of stuff and say, eh, I don't like all of it, and then not pay them for the time they took to put it together. So you pay 20 bucks for a box whether you take anything or not. But if you do even get one thing, $20 comes off the price of that item. Okay, so all of that said, the total price of the box comes at $197.50. So if I had chosen to send back that one white top, then I would have lost the discount of $72.50, um, and so I would have paid full price on everything. Um, and so I figured it out, and it was going to be, the box was gonna be $15 more to keep that shirt as opposed to, um, or $15 more to send back that shirt as opposed to keeping it. So, you know, I can try to sell it, give it away, whatever, you know. So I, I yeah, I don't really, I don't like the shirt at all, but that's okay because I like all four of the other things. Okay, so anyway, that is it for this month's Stitch Fix. And like I said, it'll be several months before I do another one of these, but I hope this was helpful to you. And uh, be sure to check out the referral link in the space below if you're interested in checking out Stitch Fix. And I hope I will see you again on Busy Being Jen. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.